Hi, I'm Kyle Giraud at A-Plus Garage and Overhead Doors. We're excited to announce our new company that we've started. We can provide for all your industrial and residential garage door needs. We can sell you new ones. We can also service the ones that you have. We're a complete dealer of all garage and industrial door needs. So give us a call at 478-676-2661 or come see us at 371 Georgia Highway 338 in Dublin. Look forward to doing business with you. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed Amata equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amata, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. Your Amata dealer. Amata lasts and lasts and lasts. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin, Lawrence County, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. and gentlemen and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. I'm your host Scott Davenport and as always it's my pleasure to be here with yes, Coach sir. Ben Turner. Now Coach, uh, this past week after uh, Ian decided where he was going to go and having three different days that we you know could have uh, had a game on uh, finally settled on Saturday uh, why don't you, uh, and an exciting game, uh, I mean, you know, you couldn't have come more down to the wire if you'd have tried to, but uh, why don't you give the folks a, a rundown of what took place? Well, um, you know, the game got, it, was, it got changed, it got canceled, it got changed again, um, you know, playing on a Saturday uh, last week, it, it really changed up a lot of things because on on, excuse me, on Wednesday, which was our Thursday practice, um, I get a call saying that the game has been canceled. Well, I get to talking to the head coach, and, and I'm like, well, is there any way y'all can come here? No. Is there any way we can do this? No. All right, and then he said, finally says, how about Saturday? Um, and I said, can y'all do that? And he said, I don't really know. I'll find out. So um, at about probably 3.10, he calls uh, calls me back, and it, it was weird because we'd already made plans because I didn't think it was going to be able to happen. Um, he calls me back um, at three ten after I had already gotten with my coordinators and said, "Look, we've already we've got some Jasper County film. Uh, let's go ahead and just go out. We'll go out like it's walk through day, but we'll just extend it a little bit, go against bags and." start implementing just a bare bones uh, game plan against them. Well, when he calls at 310, he said, can y'all play Saturday? I'm like, yes. And then he said, can y'all play at 12 or two? And I was like, is there any way we can go later? <laughs> and he said, no, sir, there's a, um, there was some kind of big festival or something down there that he said, if he didn't play at that time, that he'd probably be missing some kids. So I was like, all right. I looked at it, you know, 12 o'clock. We would have been had to be up here so early that I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll go 2 o'clock. Uh, we changed some things out up to shorten up pregame. Um, you know, had to figure out our, our pregame meal and, and all that good stuff um, really, really quickly. Uh, but we shortened up pregame where we could leave a little bit later than normal to try to let the, the kids relax. Um, wake up yeah. but <laughs> let, still let, two is early yeah. when you consider and um, let, me, let me back up a little bit so we did our we went ahead and did our um, a walk through versus them on Wednesday and then we came back on Thursday and had what we called our second Wednesday practice 
uh, where we did our, you know, situations, a lot of team stuff, special teams and all that. Then Friday we came back in and did a uh, very, very, very short walkthrough, which was more of an alignment thing. Um, and it was just, I, I could not not have my hands on the kids for, you know, that, that length long. of time. So yeah. they um, they came in, did that, and we went ahead and packed and loaded uh, for Saturday. And then Saturday morning they came in, we ate Chick-fil-A, which was incredible. Um, you know, I don't eat normal pre-games, but it was breakfast, so I ate some of those biscuits. Man, they were good. Um, loaded up and and um, left, left about 10 in the morning. Um, got down there a little before 12, uh, and, or right at 12, and then we kind of just started rolling with rolling with our pregame stuff, which, like I said, was a shortened pregame. Um, and I was worried to death because we were – it, 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 was, it was almost like pulling teeth to get people to bounce around. Yeah. Um, and so I was worried. And, you know, we came out. And we, we played flat for a lot of the game, but then we we would have our moments, and then we'd play flat, and then we'd have our moments. It, it was just a it was a weird day. I mean, it, mm -hmm. something about playing on a playing on a Saturday, which they've never done. And I've told you time and time again that uh, when our schedule gets changed, we you know we kind of struggle with it. Um, but then we when we finally got playing, you know, it, it's I, it didn't pick up like I wanted it to, but eventually it did. And so, you know, a lot of good things happened. Um, yeah. And I don't know if you want me to get into all that this segment or if we want to go into well, the next Well, we, we can do that the next segment. Okay. But, uh, you know, uh, it is one of those things where, you know, just sitting there looking at Facebook and, you know, well, now it's Saturday, you know, and it, it was one of those things where I immediately thought, oh, crap, there we go, you know, messing with the schedule, yeah. you know, and uh, I am by nature a creature of habit. Yeah. I cannot imagine yeah. what that does because you got, you know, 60 some odd people now. Oh, what do I do? You know, this is completely new, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, we're up against a break. Again, these sponsors help make this show possible. Please honor them with your uh, service. I'm Betty Hall. I've been a member here since 2015, and I enjoy it. And I started because I had retired for a few years, gaining weight, got an invitation to come to the, to the aerobics class, and I came, and I've been here ever since. And, and the workout, the people are nice. I mean, it's just like a family. I've been here going on eight years, and I come almost every day. And I invite you to come, you know, if you want to work out, get your health better, and just meet some wonderful people. I just think you will enjoy it. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Come see our great selection of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Our sales professionals are ready and waiting. Come see TJ, Trey, Alan, and Britt at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Visit us at 606 East Jackson Street in Dublin. Call us at 275-2010 or log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales will put you in the driver's seat today. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. 
And now, the starting lineup for the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County, Century 21. Brian Howell, Charlene Lamb, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Ruth Watson, Charlene Brantley, Raina Doverly, Yvonne Robertson, and broker George Durden. Count on the winning team to help you score every time. For more information, log on to c21dublin.com or call us at 478-272-1535. The winning team, Century 21, Durden Cornegay. All right, and we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, uh, you know, it's one of those things where uh, that, like I said before, you couldn't have had it more down to the wire than, yeah. than what happened. Why don't you uh, let folks know what, well, uh, what took place? Well, they, they went up on us in the second quarter and I, I might get this a little wrong. We come back and we, we strike and, and get it even. And then right before the half, uh, we muffed a punt that we should have blocked. We had a full block on. And our guys run by the punter. I mean, all they had to do was stick an arm out, out and, and clothesline him because, you know, you can tackle him before he kicks it. Um, and we didn't. And he got off. The, the, all right, their punter had one of the greatest punting days I've ever seen. This was a cat that, you know, I was like, well, I don't think we're really going to be able to get a return on him uh, because normally his kicks were about, you know, 22 to, kick 20, far 22 to, to 25 it. yards, and they were normally low-line drives. This joker comes out and was hitting bombs. It was really windy now, and he'd get, it, he'd get them up, and they would just go and go and go. And um, – on that block, he gets off probably a 50-yard punt, uh -huh. uh, just this high tower and punt. And, and I, I told our guys, I like, look, I said, just fair, you can fair catch it. We're not setting up a, uh, a return, return or anything. Yeah. And he decides to run backwards instead of getting away from it and trying to field it going over his shoulder. And it was late in the half, um, and he muffs it. So they get the ball on like the 30-yard line, um, and. We, they run a play and then we, we take a timeout or they take a timeout and, and we're like, you know, all right, getting the defense together, they're going to take a shot, blah, 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 be ready. Um, one of our corners wasn't ready. Uh, he, he, I don't, you know, he, the thing is, he said the receiver, the slot receiver jump is like, it don't matter, you play you football. football. Yeah. And he let a post um, get inside of him. Uh, and on top of him uh, for a touchdown before the half. Um, but we were fine. We were fine. Uh, we come back out, and, and I think we, we tied it up in the second half, and then they go, um, go up 28-14 to 14 on us. Um, and then we score. Uh, we're awarded a, a two-point conversion on a, a, a crazy, on a crazy call. Uh, but we're still down 28-22. We get the ball back with a little over three minutes left. I've got three timeouts at the time, so there's plenty of time. But the thing is, the punter had gotten another great punt off. And we had the ball down, um, I think the, we started on the four-yard line maybe. Yeah. Uh, we drive 88 yards um, and in the red zone, down in the red zone, deep in the red zone. And we, um, I think it was on second down, we throw a pass that should have been caught for a touchdown and we beat it up. Um, and then on third down, I think it was, uh, Zay didn't see a defender and threw it straight to him for an interception. There's 30 seconds left on the clock. I've only burned one time out at this point in time. Well, the guy comes out of the end zone uh, and we tackle him on the five. Instead of taking a knee and come out to the 20, he tries to yeah. He tries to get all the glory instead of doing the smart thing. Um, God bless him. Yeah. <laughs> so they've got the ball on the five. There's 30 something seconds left. Uh, we still got two, or there's 30 seconds left. We still got two timeouts. Uh, they line up in victory to take a knee in the shotgun on first down. And ball snapped. 
and he stands there and holds it. We approach, he takes a knee, they're inside the two-yard line. Well, as soon as that happens, timeout, um, we've now got a legitimate shot at getting a safety. Uh, and I'm thinking, all right, we got this timeout, we got one more timeout. Um, they're really close. So, I, you know, I haven't messed with the defense uh, this year. I've let my coordinators do it, but I get them over there, and I'm like, I'm sliding, I'm sliding my tackles inside. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I've got to hammer hammer this, hammer this gap, hammer this, hammer this, hammer this. And um, on second down, when he takes a knee, he, you know, and when you when you take a knee, you have to step back to clear the center yeah. to make sure that the ball doesn't get knocked out. Well, he takes a knee and he's inside the one. So at this time, you're thinking, and I take my time out. Now we get everybody, we're like, look, y'all got to get over the center and hammer him. Now, you're either going to get a couple of things here now. You're either going to get them to back up and take a knee in the end zone and take the safety and, you know, get the free kick and have to play defense a couple of plays. Or maybe you're going to get a zero wedge or a quarterback sneak, whatever you call it, which is, you know, that's, that, that, that's dangerous in that situation. Um, but they, they elected to try to take another knee inside the one. Well, if you're inside the one and you're trying to take a knee and stay in the field of play, you can't clear the center. So you have to pop straight down. Well, our guys destroyed the center back into the quarterback, knocked the ball out, and uh, Brandon McWilliams recovered in the end zone. Now, when it first happened, I saw the black bag come out, and I'm thinking, safety, safety, safety. And then he threw up his hands for touchdown. And he was like, oh, my goodness. Um, and so now we are tied 28 to 28, and then Connor added the extra point. Um, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. And then we, um, we'd had a hard time covering kicks all day long. Um, but I told Connor to squib it down. He kicks a beautiful squib kick. It bounces past the returner. We're flying down. And we actually, we pin them on the 15. Um, and we, I mean, heck, we get a sack. And really, if you if you watch the film, and I don't know why the officials didn't do this. I mean, I guess because it didn't matter. On the very last play of the game, we strip sack the quarterback, and it should have been a touchdown. Um, yeah. Because we recovered the ball in the end zone. Uh, they just ended the game. I think they were just trying to get out of town. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was wild. <laughs> it, it, yeah. It was, it was wild. Uh, I, I can read right, because I was following it, and I'm like, there was so much, so many people posted yeah. stuff, you know, so fast. It was almost like being there, you know, blah, 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 you know almost getting a play-by-play. Yeah. And, uh, but we, um, the kids were really excited. I mean, it was, you know, it was a great win for us. Um, it was a tough win. You know, I, I, I'd had worried about Bacon being so humongous up front, and that, yeah. that gave us, it gave us problems. Um, I thought our D-line did a good job, but our linebackers would miss fits, and that little running back would just get up on the, on the lineman's the tail, tail, and yeah. if a linebacker missed a fit, he'd just pop out. Um, and, he, you know, they had, some, they had some good plays like that because they really had – uh, a lot of size, and they had two good run, uh, two or three good running backs, because they end up with another guy coming in that I didn't mm -hmm. even know about. It was, it was pretty dang Skippy, um, but you know it, it was it was very very exciting, and we're hoping that it's something we can build, build off on, of yeah. because you know something like that that's so unexpected because you're looking at it and think that you know there there's no chance, but you keep fighting and then you pull it off, uh, yeah. you know. With so little time left, I mean that's that's huge, and that can be a big momentum builder, um, right? You know, going forward. All right. Now, what about JV this week? You got uh, JV's got Swainsboro Thursday at Swainsboro. Um, mm -hmm. On our JV schedule, we only well, you know, we lost. We we had the two Johnson, Johnson County Counties. games uh, were canceled, um, so. It's not as bad looking because we actually added a home game, but we only originally only had two home games, and that's um, the last two of the season is Dublin, and then I can't remember who else we've got at home. Um, but uh, we've got Swainsboro this week. It will be at Swainsboro. 
um, Thursday at five o'clock. Um, you know, and and it's it, it, it's the point now where some of those JV guys, like one of our JV linemen, uh, started on defense for us the other night. Mm -hmm. So I mean, now I mean. They're, they're, they're starting to get kids that are moving up, so I don't know how much JV they're going to be able to play, but we, we still got a full JV squad. Um, might be missing some faces that they've seen, but we still have one. All right. Well, folks, we're up against another break. Again, these sponsors would appreciate your business. Hello, I'm Andy Cullins at Cullins Supply. Bad Boy Tractor's built to carry the load around your farm or property. We're building a legendary Bad Boy brand by introducing a new line of small or medium-sized tractors that maintain our history, combining power, performance, and build quality while delivering the highest value in their class. With a tractor size to fit any farm from landscapers to ranchers, Bad Boy Tractors are positioned to be workhorses in the field. Coupled with our line of Bad Boy implements and cutters, you're all set to make your workday feel less like a chore. Visit us at Cullen Supply, 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin, or 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville. Folks are coming from all over to enjoy the country cooking at Minner General Store. Start your day off right with fresh cooked breakfast, including grits, bacon, eggs, sausage, and homemade biscuits. Lunchtime, stop in for delicious fried chicken, pork chops, and all your favorite meats and vegetables. Look for our specials, including hamburger steak. We also have all your feed, seed, and beverage needs. See why folks are driving from all over to enjoy the food at Minner General Store. Hello, I'm Jim Tanner from JT's Fall Market. Come out today and see us for all your meat and produce needs. We got sauces and spices for whatever you're cooking up at JT's. Now at JT's, we got JT's Barbecue Shack. We have pulled pork, ribs, chicken, hamburgers, hot dogs, and all the fixings for all your needs. All the beef that we cooking is locally grown. Come by and see us today at 728 Central Drive, East Dublin, Georgia. I'll call in orders at 609-9850. Hello fans, Ben Knight for Farmer State Bank. Friday night football and Farmer State Bank. As easy as FSB. Dedication, hustle, trust, commitment, and teamwork. Giving our all every day, just as our local football teams do every Friday night. Join us at Farmer State Bank and support your local team. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey, I'm Heather Harrison. And I'm Kim Bracewell. And I've been a member of JV Fitness Center for 10 years. And I've been a member for over 20 years. Um, we love taking the strength training class here. The energy from the teachers is just fantastic. And also, I play racquetball and would love to have you come play racquetball with us. So come join us at Fairview Fitness Center. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, uh, we're back after a long road trip uh, at home this weekend uh, against Jasper County. Uh, what are some things, you know, a lot of folks might, and you, you touched on this in between, you know, that might uh, remember Ms. Monticello, or, no. yeah, but uh, what are some things that you know, uh, you know, from looking at film about Jasper County that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to really be careful of? Well, yeah, um, one, they're coached up. Um, Two, they, once again, it's another team that has a lot of size. Um, their defensive front is a, it's a different kind of size. They have, a long, they have longer kids that are good-looking athletes that can run around. They've got a um, defensive end that's, you know, 6'2", 6'3", 230 pounds. It makes a lot of plays for them. Um, you know, they uh, have one of the best-looking safeties you'll see. He's, Six to 200 pounds uh, running around back there. I mean, they, mm -hmm. they've got good looking kids. Um, defensively, um, you know, they, 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 they do, they don't do a lot, um, but they run to the ball well. Uh, so we've got to make sure that we stay on blocks. Um, 
offensively, you know, it, it, it comes down to really just shutting down their running game. Uh, you know, they, they their quarterback uh, tries to distribute it. He is not the strength when it comes to the passing game. Uh, but he does enough to make you have to worry about it. Uh, but they have two or three little running backs that are pretty good. Uh, well, two of them are little. One of them is that big, good-looking safety that they roll back there, and he 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 looks like a man back there. So, uh, but you know, it's um, I've never played them before. Uh, they've got a new coach, um, Ashley Henderson, which was the head coach at Thomas County Central last year, um, and he's come in and and he's revamping the program, and, you know, doing a good job with them. Uh, they're sitting at, I believe they're two and four right now, uh, but they have. I mean, they've they've played they've played a couple of tough teams now, um, so I'll, I'll I'll give them that one. But they're a good looking football team, an athletic football team uh, that has on that offensive front, uh, you know, a bunch of beef. Uh, you know, their centers, five ten, five eleven, two hundred seventy, two hundred eighty pounds. Uh, the right guard's over three hundred pounds. I'm not sure how tall he is. The right tackle is a Good looking kid. He's like 6'2, 6'3, 230. Um, so they're, you know, they they're they're a good looking football team. We just gotta come out and 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 play our game and we can't let, you know, the homecoming festivities, you know, I love homecoming, but you, you can't let the the, the 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 festivities of homecoming become a distraction during the week. Because which, the whole reason yeah, for being there is, is the, the game. game. That's right. <laughs> uh you know and and yesterday, I mean, they'd all been out all rolling the night before. But yesterday, I thought we had a, a pretty daggone good practice. So I was, you know, I was very pleased with it. Now we just need to follow up with today even better practice, and then make sure everything's completely cleaned up tomorrow, and then walk through on Thursday. And thank goodness we get to play on Friday. Because if you look at it, you know, Sunday, I mean, it wasn't early, but you know, around six, I, I told my coaches, I was like. Look, y'all go because we'd been around each other um, every day since the Sunday before. Uh, you know, I told them I'm glad we all like each other because we've been seeing we, nobody. We didn't get that break from being yeah. around each other. Uh, and by the end of this week, you know, we will not have had a break from being around each other until Friday. Uh, you know, and with that being said, it also worried me. And in the weight room, it was a little rough yesterday because we played on Saturday. So we were pretty sore um, going through our squat routine, but uh, you know, I was like, "You got to get through it." Yeah. You know, I lightened, I lightened up on them um, and cut a set. I was like, "Got to get through it. We got to work this soreness out." And really, at practice, you couldn't tell that people were sore. Well, this this is another thing going back to how it disrupts yeah. Yeah. routine. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, normally you would you would yeah. think, okay. Most of the soreness is out. Yeah, yeah. And by you know, the time we had, Monday we had a couple around. people injured Saturday. Uh, Mark West Harris actually had to be taken off yes. in the ambulance, but he's back with no restrictions. Uh, now Travion um, Richardson, he um, on a uh, very. It was bad, man. The boy. It was on that last kickoff. The boy picked him up and suplexed him and slammed him and. Um, Put him out for a while. He, yeah. he messed his ribs up pretty good, um, so it, it was very, very dirty. Yeah. Um, so we, we we're down a senior defensive back uh, with that, and I hate that for him. Um, but I mean, he's still hurting so bad. It's Tuesday, and he's still not back in school. So. Yeah. All right. Well, folks, uh, softball teams still rocking and rolling. They're picking up win after win after win. Uh, exciting uh, game last week against uh, Swainsboro. Uh, won it in the bottom of the seventh. Uh, yesterday, uh, picked up another win against Toombs County. Uh, picked up another win against Dublin last week. Uh, and. Uh, we have another game uh, Thursday against Montgomery County and then Bleckley County on Saturday. So again, uh, running down on the number of chances to see these girls play and uh, they're peaking. 
uh, now. Uh, it's one of those things where they're they're playing as a team, as a unit, and uh, it's a great thing to see. We've got uh, Jasper County. Uh, let's see, is it 730? 730. 730 on Friday. At, Homecoming, and uh, I'm sure the homecoming is going to be. Before. It normally starts at seven. Seven. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, if you're going to be there for, you know, your special relative, little one, you know, make sure you're there uh, before seven. I way before seven. Uh, again, uh, parking uh, is one of those things where people are still figuring out, you know, how to maneuver and the. Uh, you know, at the new uh, uh, complex. So make sure you're there early, be there loud and proud, uh, and you're black and gold, and as always, go, go Falcons. Falcons. boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kids' college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah make saving for your kids' college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. It's that time of year when we come together to support our team. And our team here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC is here to support you. Down here at Dublin Chevrolet where we're putting dreams in driveways. Go, let's get out there. Ah! Whether it's helping you with your next purchase or just servicing your current vehicle, Yes, Miss Thomas, we've got your traverse book for next week. North and south! <laughs> and remember, support your local team. You know the rest. There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin.